Hello guys, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Before I even begin to get into this, I have a big thank you to all of you guys. This is my first video, and I can't even believe I'm saying this, where I now have more than 10,000 subscribers. I know in the big picture of people who react to these videos, I'm so tiny and I'm one of the smaller ones out there. But personally, when I started doing this, I just wanted to have some fun with it. And I thought, man, if I get like 500 subscribers, I'd be satisfied. And to now hit the fifth digit, <laughs> it just, it blows me away. So from the bottom of my heart, and this is sincere as heck, you guys, thank you. I just, I can't thank you enough. Wow, that, that 10,000 people would be interested in all what I have to say just blows me away. All right, that's enough of that stuff. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I've had a lot of requests to react to another Lucy Thomas song. And man, that took almost no convincing for me to do that because I think I've listened to two of hers and both of them were amazing. So that was really easy to convince me to try another one. Now you did ask if I could do one with a duet with her sister, uh, Martha. No problem. <laughs> I'm willing to do that as well. The song I'm going to be reacting to is probably one many of you know, even if you haven't heard this version of the song. It's called The Prayer. It was originally written, I know, by um, uh, Carol Bayer Sager, I think that was her name, and a couple of other people. I remember listening to her many years ago, and I know she wrote a lot of music as well. There's two versions of this song that I know pretty well. One's by Carol Bayer Sager, Charlotte Church, uh, Josh Groban, and I think there was one or two other people, but I'm, I apologize, I don't know the names. And then a more popular one was obviously the one with Celine Dion and Andrea Bocelli. I have reacted to um, a couple of Lucy songs, like I said, and they were amazing. She is really the shining example of perfect, perfect execution when singing. Obviously, um, she's got, she was born with a lot of skills, she had to be because you can't learn everything she does. But her training has, I'm sure, has been nuts. And I'm sure she has put in so much hard work to be able to, be able to get to the uh, level that she is. So between, obviously, the gift that she was uh, given and everything she's put into singing, wow, she is amazing. Now, Lucy Thomas's sister, I should just call her Lucy, I was... Lucy Thomas, <laughs> Martha Thomas, um, they're both really young. I think Lucy is 17, I think. So that would put Martha 12-ish. Um, like I said, I've had many requests for duets of theirs, and the prayer to me just sounded perfect. So I love the song, and it kind of touches my heart. So let's do that, okay? All right, so let me get my headphones on, and I'll be right back. Hold on, here we go. Or here we're going to go. <laughs> See, it's moments like this why I have 10,000 followers. Oh, it's nuts. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so it is always important to finish a segment strong, like I just did. <laughs> uh, you know what? This is it's stupid stuff like that that I just have fun with this. And um, no one better go into watching one of my videos expecting like perfection because you're not going to find it. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm getting a little attitude now that I have 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> All right, so let's just get right into this. It, this is Lucy and Martha Thomas, and they're singing the prayer. Uh, here we go. I pray you be your eyes And watch us away we go And help us to be wise In times when we don't know Let this be our prayer When we lose our Lead 
absolutely stunning <laughs> that was wow that was good you know listening to this this is such an interesting age for them to be singing together i think lucy's voice is obviously more mature sounding don't take that as a negative at all towards martha because it's not intended to be it's just that their voices are at two different maturity levels and it creates this amazing blend of youth and experience but again both perfect lucy's voice is like a little fuller if you will and um boy the two of them combined it's just it creates this beautiful sound and then throw in the fact that they're siblings where i think sibling voices always carry special magic when they sing together and man, you've got something special. This, what a way to start out this song. Woo, this was good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play this to the end because I don't wanna talk about it. I really wanna just go on and listen to this because it is so beautiful. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh. 
wow. <laughs> Holy cow. If there's any intimidation uh, on Martha's side singing with her uh, older sister, it doesn't show at all. Wow, that amazing. Um, I'm no expert at foreign languages, but man, their Italian sounded wonderful. And raise your hand if the word <laughs> angel came to mind when listening to them sing. They literally have these beautiful, heavenly voices, and especially in a song like this. Wow. Together, they create such a a clean, is that the word? A clean sounding version of the song. It's void of any unnecessary embellishments or anything like that. When I hear such perfect versions of a song like they just did, I feel like this should be the benchmark how other songs are compared. It's just that good. This is how the song should be sung. And don't think for a second that I'm over estimating or over exaggerating how good this song was. This was as good as it gets. <laughs> this is why this song was made. I really feel like that's the truth. It was such an amazing duet. Wow. Um, whew. All right, let me get my headphones off, and I'm going to be back for my final thoughts. In just a quick little teaser, it's going to be good. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, welcome back to Final Thoughts. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not sure I mentioned this before, but one of the reasons I started doing this, I might have mentioned this, was that I was getting tired of the music I was listening to. I thought all the current music was garbage, and I... I if I said it once, I said it a thousand times that this new music is just horrible. All right. So made me think that, you know what? I love music. I've always loved music. When I was young, I had no less than 30 to 40 eight-track tapes piled everywhere in my car. And as I got older, I found myself listening to those same songs over and over again. And I don't want to say I was getting bored, but I was looking for something else to listen to. And... That's why I started doing this, to kind of follow a journey with some of you and see what kind of music I could unearth and see if really if the music was as bad as I thought it was. And I was completely wrong because <laughs> I come across music like this. I'm going to go on the record and say this is clearly, I'm not even going to hesitate, this is my favorite version of the song, period. Um, no disrespect to Celine. Or Andrea. <laughs> but honestly, as a duet, I'm not sure anyone comes close to this. It's just packed with love, um, sincerity, and how about emotional truth? <laughs> I like that. Emotional truth. It's like their voices were meant to sing together. And being siblings, like I talked about earlier, I think there's a natural sound that when siblings sing that just really comes out. There was another band called... Um, Oh, shoot. Why did I even say this? Um, I'll think of it. But anyway, there's another band where it's all sisters. And I really think when they sing together, it creates a sound like you're not going to get with people who aren't related. There may be science behind that. There may be not. But mentally, that's what I think. <laughs> and, you know, when while watching this, it's amazing to me how relaxed and comfortable they appeared, both in their sound, their sound just it was like effortless and in their delivery and how they acted. Um, Isley was the name of the band. There's a girl band. Uh, uh, yeah. It's all sisters. I think. Yeah. I think there's some male cousins or some, the band is Isley. I really like them. If you have a chance, I don't even know if they're together anymore, but they were good. Anyways, back to Lucy and Martha. <laughs> um, I'm really happy now that I've been able to hear Martha because I've heard about her, but I never heard her. And wow, I'm so excited to have yet another sister who we can follow on her musical journey, which is obviously going to be amazing. And there's no doubt that she's going to be putting out some beautiful music. As far as Lucy goes, I hate to say it, but she's now put me in a spot to where I expect perfection from her <laughs> every song I hear. And she delivered perfectly again here, so um, no surprise at all. She just appears, and I can only re react to Lucy, because uh, she was nice enough on one of my videos to thank me for doing a reaction. Who does that? 
uh, nobody does. So um, my heart is with these two and really pulling for them to have success and that they stay true to themselves and not have a lot of outside pressures put on them. So, all right, listen, guys, this was amazing. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that'd be even better. And if you could click that notification bell, that would be even, even better because uh, you'll be notified anytime I put out some new content. All right, guys, thank you so much. Peace out. I will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.